So it's time for another Power Query video, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can expand columns when you have nested tables in them, but not everywhere. Sometimes you get the double arrow, sometimes you don't, and here I'm going to give you options for solving that. Right, so first of all, let me show you what I mean. I have here a table, and as you can see, the table, the column called country, it has a nested table that contains, so this company has location in Spain, this in Sweden, and this has in Spain and in Italy, so it is a nested table. We want to open them up. And as you can see, the double arrow does not appear, so how do we do it? It's actually not very difficult, so if you go to uh, column, custom column, and then we're going to do here if value is, and then we do for the values in the country column, if it is type table, so we're saying if whatever is in this column is a table, then leave it as is. Otherwise, else in Power Query language, you do, we're going to now create a table. So before we create it, let me do it like this. I'm going to show you, I show you this on my M course, but for those of you that have not taken it, we're going to do it. So I go here blank query to create a table. You do table, so hashtag table, and then you do the column name. So this is going to be country. And then you do here with double uh, curly quotes, we're going to do, I'm going to leave it empty. So one column, one row, empty, right? If I want to have another row, I need to add another list. So I'll explain this also in my M course, where you know the list is with the curly brackets. So this is going to be also empty, and then you can continue adding rows, okay? If I want to add another column, I will go in here. I will do city. And then we, I need to add to each row list. So for row zero, I will have let me put a 1 so we can see it, and for row 2, for city I'm going to put a 2, and then you see that they show up. So with this knowledge in mind, I'm going to copy these, and I am going to go to our add custom, and then we're going to create a table. We just have, we just need one table, so we don't, with one column, not two, so I'm going to get rid of city, and I just need one null value. I don't need everything else. Make sure that you have double curly uh, brackets in there. Click OK. And then suddenly we have a table for each... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The value is obviously going to be whatever value is in the country, uh, obviously, in the country uh, column. So now we have Spain, Sweden, and here we have Spain and Italy. But the difference is that we have the double arrow now, so we can just go in there and then load more. Get rid of this, please, Power Query team. Get rid of this by default. It's annoying. And voila. Then you get rid of this one, and then you have your beautiful table. Now, let's turn the heat up a little bit. What happens if Instead of having one table, you have nested tables, so a table within a table. And you could say, Ruth, you could just repeat the process twice. So you could create a custom column and then a custom column. But now that you know M, there are better ways to do it, so let's do it. Let's start easy. I always build these small and then do, 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 do. otherwise my head explodes, seriously. So I am going to go in here and I am going to copy the if. We'll modify it, but for now, copy. So we go in there, advanced editor. No, sorry. No need for that. So add column, custom column, and then we're going to do the same as we did before. So table, what you could do now is you could go there and then now you have another table that has uh, the country and the city, and then you could do exactly the same. But we can actually nest, it, nest the tables 
in here in the other custom color. So let me show you. You know, when I do this type of transformations, I always do it separately and then copy the code because with all the brackets and all the, my head really literally explodes <laughs> and I don't like that. Okay, so the table needs to look like this. It needs to be Spain, country Spain, city, no, because we don't have any city, and then the same for Sweden. Um, so it's going to look, country here, it should be Spain, here it should be no, and then here it should be Italy, and then here it should be no, uh, like that. Be careful so you don't delete too much, so like this. Um, but obviously we don't want to hard code the Spain and Italy that is going to be fed by Power Query. But we're going to copy this and then we modify it. So I am going to copy everything. I'm going to go to our added custom for the nested part. And then in here we have a table that instead of having a value, we want to nest a table. So in the double brackets in there, we're going to put the table that we just created. But there's a difference. There is no Italy, no. And here, we don't want to hard code the values. Here is going to be country. So country, no. And I think that should work. <laughs> Let's see. So we have a table with a country as a table. Beautiful. Okay, so open. That looks good. And then we have here a table that says Spain, no. Sweden, no. And the Spain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh yeah, it was Sweden, not uh, Italy. Sorry. But now you know how it works. So when we expand this, <laughs> voila, we have it. And then you can nest and nest and nest until your heart or brain explodes. Okay. So this is all for today. I will see you again on the next video.